Welcome back to Breakfast with Bob from Challenge Denmark. My name is Bob Babbitt. We are brought to you by Ceramic Speed, and we are at beautiful Legoland. Uh, my next guest from Ceramic Speed, Mr. Ben Powell. Ben, how are you? I'm very good, Bob. Nice to be in Denmark, actually, with a bit of sun. Uh, now, this is... Uh, did you grow up far from so here? So, actually, I... Yeah. A lot of people think I'm a Dane, but I'm actually from Wales. Wales is my home country. Ah. Um, but Ceramic Speed being a Danish company, yes. which it is, and having a Danish fiance, it means that Denmark is probably You're home. 49% home. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that. Talk a little, you mentioned a little earlier that you grew up with the sport. Yeah. The sport is something that your mom and dad were doing, yeah. and you watch videos of Luke Van Leerde yeah. and all those guys. Yeah, for me, you know, this sport is... I regard it as my sport. You know, we all have a childhood sport. Yeah. You know, many of my friends have soccer and rugby, which is very popular in Wales. But for me, I was brought up around triathlon. My dad was one of GB's Great Britain's best elite yes. uh, long distance races, Olympic distance races as well. And he was on squads with the, the likes of Simon Lesson, you mm. know, and being up, brought up around that environment, naturally, you just fall into this sport and you become somewhat of a historian of it you know like a, a student of the sport yeah. I guess and that's what I am and I'm just so deep involved with it you know from a, a personal perspective yeah. and a hobby perspective but also now from a business perspective with ceramic speed and with the company and yeah of course with my fiance as well well and talk a little bit about uh, me and Hella and uh, what was it about her that you know that made you realize that she could be great yeah uh, Helen and I met in 2009 and you know I've like I said I've been in the sports so many years and I've been around so many professionals myself you know I, I was on the same elite programs as uh -huh. the likes of Alistair and Johnny Brownlee yeah. in, in the UK so I was around you know so many elite professionals but Helen's professionalism just stood out to me you know I, I've seen so many people dedicate and so many people put time in but just the details, you know, yeah. looking at every single detail matters to her. And I think that's why we see Hella at the very top of the sport. It, it, very, you know, I, in, I regard the 1%. Yes. And that's what the difference is. It's the 1% that look after everything, right? And it's the ones, unfortunately, that don't look after all of the details, nutrition, lifestyle, everything. They don't get to that 1%, unfortunately. And, and that, to me, was a massive attraction to Hella. And, of course, she's very... <laughs> Easy on the eyes, <laughs> who could say? So, yeah, it's a, it, we have a great relationship, We've got a fantastic partnership. You know, it's yeah. And talk a little bit about Ceramic Speed. Uh, it, it's a it's a company. Obviously, it's been big over here in Denmark. Yeah. But really, you're the one who, who spearheaded what's going on in the states yeah. and in, in in North America. Yeah. Yeah. So Ceramic Speed is a Danish company. Um, it's actually based one hour from where we are now okay. in in Bilon. Uh, that's where the headquarters is. Um, founded in 2004, um, we basically specialize, we, we produce products, cera ceramic bearing products, yeah. and we apply them to the bicycle. Um, it's, it's our core business. Um, and I come in onto the company in 2013, the back end of 2013, mm -hmm. to basically, as you say, spearhead Ceramic Speed's future operations in the US. Right. And that's where now I'm, I'm based in Colorado out of Boulder with the company um, and I control North and South America operations with, you know, liaising directly with the headquarters sure. here in Denmark. You know, yeah. we use the marketing team of the headquarters here in Denmark um, and my manager, you know, boss is here in Denmark as well. But it's a fantastic corporation that's, you know, it's we're just really passionate about doing things right and being innovative. You know, I think one of our the culture of our company is cycling. So we, we, you know, even our production workers, they're out on the bikes in, in lunchtime and it's a part of our DNA yeah. and it's a part of what we do. So producing products for the bicycle industry, you know, we have Contador Ride in our products. We have Frederick Van Leder, Craig Alexander, Gwen Jorgensen, you know, all of these names and we start to see the traction now. And in the US, you know, like we talked about before, you hadn't heard of Ceramic no. Speed and, you know, it, it, we have so much potential as a company and, yeah, that's part of my job is to grow us over there and see where we can go with it, pretty much. Uh, when you see new products in our sport, mm. and when you talk about groundbreaking products in cycling, mm. you talk aero helmet, you talk clip-in mm. pedals, you talk aero bars. Uh, it looks like you guys have a product uh, that's, especially from first glance, yeah. it looks like it's going to be um, a difference maker. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and it's... Like you just 
the, there's been a lot of variations of the same product. Exactly. You know, over many, many years. And I think, and this is my personal opinion, that the cycling industry has really pushed the boundaries of bicycle frames, mm -hmm. for example. They all claim to be faster than right. the other, but in reality, there's, you know, there's marginal yeah, between, yeah, right. you know, between the top end frames. What we do as a company, and as you said, we, we are focusing on specifically the drivetrain of a bike. So, you know, from the rear derailleur, mm -hmm. the cogs, the pulley wheels, through to the, the chain set, the bottom bracket, and how efficient that whole system works as a unit. Right. Because bikes have always been viewed, you know, from the frame and everything that you can see. Right. But the internals of a bike, which yeah. are the bearings, the things that make the bike turn, they've never really been looked at or put into detail or focus from bicycle companies. So that's our focus, that's what we do as a company, but we try and educate the manufacturers of bikes to start to look at this, because there's incredible savings if they start to look at that. You know, if they start to look at the performance of a drivetrain, the efficiency of how your chain moves yeah. through the, you know, the rear derailleur system, it all matters to performance. And as you talked with Martin Jensen in, in your previous show, He's a guy that's very into the details. All detail. And yeah. he is one of, if not the greatest rider in you know, at this era, at least, in terms of what he can put out in power. But it matters to him, the details. And we're a company that focuses on that. And the new product that we have, which we'll launch this summer, hopefully, um, we'll see it in the Tour de France. It's visually different. Mm -hmm. It makes you, it catches your eye, but there's a very significant advantage to that product. And yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting to be a part of a company that really pushes the boundaries. And this will become, uh, people will see it at the Tour de France yeah. and become available for consumers. Yeah, consumers just after. We hope around August time, yeah. uh, it will be consumer ready. Um, and yeah, we would love to see bike manufacturers start to go down that route, you know. And, and make it standard equipment. Make it standard equipment. I, whether we will be there in 6 to 12 months, I don't think so in terms of standard yeah. equipment. Whether, will we be there in 2 to 3 years? I hope so. And that's what I feel we can be. And yeah, it's really exciting. Um, bringing a new product to the States, how hard has that been? Uh, because it's, there's a lot of clutter. There's a lot of clutter. You can say that about this. The States is a big place. It's a big place, <laughs> and there's a, a lot, of, lot of stuff There's a on. lot of stuff. I, I think what I've, one thing I've recognized a lot coming from Europe to the States is Europe's cycling culture has been very much high-end driven okay. for many, many years now. A lot of corporate interest in cycling. Mm -hmm. They want the best products, sure. components, not necessarily from a speed perspective but from an aesthetic side right. you know they want the best they want to feel the best in the u.s like you say there is tends to be a lot of clutter there's bike shops that really don't focus towards the high-end stuff they don't even consider stocking it no. or carrying it there's no interest there you know and that's a great thing because it's you know the beginners need they don't need the best no. things you know the beginners need to just get what they need but bringing a new product over like that it takes education and it takes you know a lot of time to sit down with people and make them understand really what it is before you can see big results. Yeah, the deal is you're going into bike shops that have a lot of clutter in their <laughs> stores and you're saying carry another product. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And that's that's a tough one. Yeah, and they and they hesitant, you know, they yes. are hesitant to that. But hey, that's part of the job. We have I think to they're going to find out at the tour <laughs> yeah. that they're going to have to. Yeah, and this so is what we demand. see as well. You know, like we have like I said, the likes of Contador and Tinkoff Saxo, and then we have, you know, Frederick in, in yes. Kona, and so many Bro, of the yeah, top yeah. 10 in Kona run the product, the consumers want that. Exactly. And, you know, those people run it for a reason. You know, they don't run it because we pay them millions. No. We don't. You know, we are very fair with what we yeah. do, and they run it because they want to, and they want the best. So I think we will see that with the new product that we launch as well. Love it. Hey, Ben, thanks for all the support. Thanks, thanks for, for bringing us over here. Yeah, yeah, thank you for coming. Uh, I love it. This is a, being at Legoland for a couple days. Yes. This is sort of a treat. Fantastic. Ben Powell has been our guest from Ceramic Speed. We are brought to you by Ceramic Speed. My name is Bob Babbitt. We are a beautiful Legoland and Challenge Denmark, which is tomorrow. It's going to be a great race. Okay, who's your pick? Oh, oh you there the you go. I'm going to go with Thomas Stranger, the young 21 year Really? Not off, knocking off Martin Jensen. No, Martin will. If, if Thomas doesn't win it, then Martin okay. will. Martin's the favorite, but I'm going to go with the dark horse. Thomas. Going with the dark horse. <laughs> and Michelle? Yeah, Michelle, Michelle or Mary Beth. Uh, uh, I'm not going to pick that one. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. We will be right back. <laughs>